Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guy YouTube videos. If you like this video, please leave a like and even comment below. And if you like all my content, please hit the subscribe button. And why not click the bell icon for notifications too? That way you can see all my videos. Give me, give me the ball. Ugh. Hi. Why? Oh, hey, no. Oh boy. Good morning. We're trying to do a video. No attitude. Uh, no attitudes. How's it going, Reptop Rescue family? How are you guys doing? The channel is growing so much. Thank you to everyone who subscribes. Thank you. If you leave a like on the video, amazing. If you comment, cool, it all helps the algorithm, guys. It's the only way the channel grows. And to everyone who's actually giving me some money on Patreon, you know it helps grow this channel so much and it helps provide super great care to reptiles who need it so I can take them in, get them healthy, and adopt them out. And if you don't know, if you're on Patreon, you get to join the Discord with me. It's a Patreon-only Discord. I'm on there every single day in text chat. We do videos. We do voice chats. I show feedings and things like that. So you do get exclusive content if you're on the Discord. Now, let's go into what today's video is about. How do we get bearded dragons to drink water? I see this all the time. This is asked, my, is my bearded dragon dehydrated? My bearded dragon doesn't like to drink water. How do I keep them hydrated? And the same question is asked over and over and over. Well, today, we're going to go over those options, right, big girl? Okay. And there's a few guys, and I'm going to kind of put them in the priority of, I think, from worst to best. Uh, and then we'll do it, okay? Okay, option number one, which I see people do, and I think this is the least effective option, is some type of dripping system where they come up to the bearded dragon and they drip the water on their face. And see, it's just it's just pissing her off. It's just pissing her off, and she wants to bite it. Oh, and here comes Clementine to bite it. Yeah, they're not drinking. They just want to bite this thing because it's green and they think it's food. So this is the least... Now, I can get a couple squirts in. This is honestly the worst option. Let me squirt it on her face. It just makes them mad. Look at... They're both mad at me. But no, people, I've seen them do the dripper thing. I don't like it. I don't find it effective. I know some dragons do drink when it's like that. But look, it also makes a mess. There's water in her ear that could lead to an ear infection. You could get them mad at you. They could, when they open their mouth... It, you know, you could squeeze it in. It could go down their glottis, which is their windpipe right on the bottom of their mouth, which can lead to an RI. It's not a clean method, in my opinion, to do any type of dripping. But if it works for your dragon, good, because all these methods can work for dragons. I find it to be the least effective. The next one, I'm actually going to bring up Johnny Cage. And this is an interesting one because for him, it works great. And for some other dragons, it works good as well. Um, and remember, guys, bearded dragons typically don't get dehydrated they don't sweat they don't have sweat glands so they do not burn through water like we do but the next option is a water bowl of some kind in his case a water bath that's big enough for him to soak in because that's what he likes to do i've done it before i can even put a video in now bearded dragons drink from standing water People say they don't drink from standing water. You need to do one of those ionizers that makes it bubble and blah, blah, blah. You've seen it in plenty of my videos. You've seen him do it. He's thirsty. He goes in there. He drinks. He knows where the water is. That's what it is. Not all bearded dragons will drink from water bowls either. It's interesting. It just doesn't happen. But don't worry, guys. At the end of this video, I am going to show you the method which will work for all bearded dragons. So don't panic. So, but if they drink from water bowls, great. You have to make sure you keep that water bowl clean because you don't want parasites to get in it. So it should be rinsed out every couple days. Simple, easy. On to the next one. Okay, this next one is an interesting one because as we get higher, sometimes this has really great success uh, and sometimes it doesn't. Is it's them drinking in the bath. So some bearded dragons, if you put them in the bath, and you put their face down into the water like I did, will drink in the bath. She's not, you know, suffocating. Her nose is up. 
I have it tilted so the water is deeper here, but some of my bearded dragons will drink in the bathtub if I put them in in this method. Head slides in first so the water hits their face and then they realize, oh hey, I can drink this and it's good to go. Some will drink in the bath in general. Oh, she's done. She always pops her beard out to show me she's done. Some will drink in the bath in general, but I've found that I have a higher success chance of just going in and doing a little bit of a face first, and there you go. But still, others may not drink in the bath like this. I know plenty of peoples that do not do this. But don't worry, we're getting better. Now, I'm just simulating it's meal time here. But before we get to this, which is the best way to get them greens, there's another option, squash. You can feed squash. Squash is like butternut squash. I, I've shown it before, when you cut a butternut squash, that thing bleeds like a stuck pig. That thing bleeds like Ric Flair, okay? Th those things just ooze water from them. And remember, they don't need that much water, so when that thing's oozing water, that's great. But you typically don't feed squash every day. I get it, squashes could be expensive, they could be hard to come by. There are other options, acorn squash, or my personal favorite, because it's the easiest to work with and it's great for them, yellow squash. But if you can't feed squashes, or for me, I feed squashes once a week, what do you do with the greens? So the simulating, I'm getting ready for feed time here, and I've just ripped up some turnip green into the sizes I like. Remember this guy? He's back. I wet the bejesus out of my turnip greens, or any veggie I'm feeding, mixed, whatever. See how much water is in here? It's pooling, right? Okay, because then you've got, look at this nice dripping green. There's so much water on these greens that when a bearded dragon eats it, it's gonna absorb, watch this. I put this in their food bowl, they soap it down. Look at all this water they've taken in. Did you see all that? That's from one piece. Let's go show it in action. I know a lot of people might be like, I don't know about this method, it seems too simple. That's because it is simple, but it works. Look, I fill these plates with greens. Look how little is left from yesterday's dinner. And that's on all the dragons. So if I have, now it's not dinner time, so hopefully they'll eat. But if I have a green that is just oozing with water, oozing, and the dragon eats it, hey, look what I got. She's pissed. And the dragon eats it, which normally they do um, when it's dinner time. They're going to take in all of this water from one green. I could shake it off. And the nice thing about that is if you leave it in the food bowl, pretend this is the food bowl and they don't eat it right away, you come back and you spray it down a couple more times. You keep the greens wet. You keep them, you know, from being dried and shriveled. And then you got all this liquid. And it works, it's guaranteed. And then they're getting this amount of water that they need every day. Now, here's something you need to be aware of. Bearded dragons only can allow so much water in their system. So when they get excess water, they will pee that water out. Don't be alarmed, don't panic, nothing is wrong. They're just purging the excess water from their system. That's really normal. Hey, you, wake up. This is what you have to deal with with old bearded dragons. They just take naps. Hey, hello? Hi. You mad at me? I had to do the water for the, the video. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to give her some dubia roaches later. She's pissed. All right, guys. Hopefully you like, but you like this video. And like I said, wetting the greens down, keeping them wet, very wet. Just gives them so much water because also if they go to lick a green and they miss it, they've just soaked up all that water. It works. It's the best way. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.